Hey everybody, Mike here at MH Tutorials and welcome back. Well guys, what we're going to do today is we are going to create normals based on photographs and we're going to apply them to a model. All right, so let's get started with that. Okay, so we're going to start in our panel view here. We're going to move to our front view. We're going to click on view image plane, import image. And I'm just going to select an image that I found for our uh, reference. Uh, which is this uh, cult here. And we're not going to model the entire cult. Uh, what we're going to focus on is the grip here. Okay. Now, as you can see, there's a specific structure going on here. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a normal map based on this structure and we're going to apply it to this model. Okay. So just to get a sense of something that looks like a, a cult, what we're going to do is we're just going to simply drag out a basic shape here that we will call our cult. Okay. I'm just going to add some subdivision here. Let's do three right there. That's fine. Just going to quickly move to this view here. Hit W, move that up. I have to zoom in. Let's hit R. Scale that out. Hit W, move that over and right click vertex, drag click these two and pull that out here. Okay. Then we're going to go to our polygon menu. We're going to go to mesh tools, insert edge tool option box, single setting, and we'll do uh, an edge loop here and we'll do one over here. Okay. Hit Q on your keyboard, right click. We're going to move to the bottom here. We're going to right click on a face. One, two, three. Edit mesh and extrude. Hit W and pull that down. And let's pull that down to about here. And then bring it over. Something like so. And we'll just create, let's see, what we'll do here is we will add some more edge loops. Yep. We'll get a mesh tools into the edge loop tool once again. And I'll add one there and one there. And then I'll do one up here and one up here. Q on our keyboard. Let's zoom in. We're going to right click, go to face, take that face and delete it. Take that face and delete it. Right click edge, double click on that one and on that one. And we're going to go to, uh, let's see where did that guy go to edge bridge option box. Uh, let's see, linear, uh, we'll do smooth path and curve. Divisions, we'll do 15 and hit apply. There we go. Okay, so let's just say that this is our cult, okay? And again, it's not about modeling the cult, it's about the grip, okay? So I'm just going to drag select these two here. Actually, I'll do that from this view. And I'm going to hit control delete to avoid any NGONs. And then I'll just uh, right click, go to face, take that one and that one, edit mesh, extrude. We're going to pull that in. Yep, not that way, sorry. Control Z. Let's pull on the offset, like so. And then hit G to repeat and R to scale out. Okay. So that's the grip we're going for. And we want to have that texture on it. Okay. So I'm going to right click on object mode, select my weapon, right click, assign new material. Let's do a um, blend. And let's go into our blend material. 
and make it black like so and now it's time to get into Quixel okay so we're gonna select that we'll give that a sec got quite a few uh, plugs in there plugins so that will take uh, just a sec here all right there we are okay I'm gonna go to file open I'm gonna go to my desktop right there and I found this pistol grip texture Let's open that up. There we go. All right. I'm going to select Endo. And we'll give that a second. Okay, there's our Endo. We've got our image open. I'm going to select uh, this tab right there. Photo Normals Preset. Okay. And here we go. And I'm going to go with, uh, let's say, the small details that we got here, like so. I'm going to select Active Document. And as you can see, all sorts of stuff going on there. And we'll have him go on for a bit. Okay. And there is our normal map. All right. So we're going to go to File. We're going to select Save As. We're going to select it as a PSD. And we'll call it Grip PSD. OK. And let's save it on my desktop. OK. There we go. We're going to go back to our model. Now, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to apply my texture. So I'm going to right click the face, select that face, right click assign new material. Let's go with a, um, we'll do another blend, that's fine. I'm going to go into my color tab, hit my checkered box, select file, click on the folder. Go to my desktop and uh, let's see where is the texture there it is okay so we're going to open that up i'm going to hit my checkered box so i can see it and as you can see we need to uv this so while it's selected create uvs planar mapping not happy with that so let's try automatic mapping that's much better Okay, I'm going to go to Edit UV, UV Texture Editor, just to check it out. And this, um, this shape right here, right-click Shell, I'll just select it. That one, right, that's the one we're going for. It's nicely within our 0 to 1 UV space, so that's okay. So that's my texture file, and now I'm going to apply the normal file. So I'm going to select that again. We're going to go to our material, which is uh, Blend 2. Just check that. Yes, Blend 2. We're going to go to Bump Mapping. We're going to hit the checkered box. And we're going to select PSD file. OK. We're going to go to the PSD file uh, tab here. Hit the folder. Select my grip. PSD normal. There we go. Which is now applied. And then one more thing we need to do instead of use as bump, use as tangent space normal. Okay. Which will give us, if you look closely, you can see that actually I'll, I'll create some light so you can see what's going on. Create light. Come on. Light. Point light. I'll hit 7 on my keyboard so we can see the light. 
I'm going to pull it out here. I'm going to zoom in. And right here, you can very clearly see that this is a, um, a very good and distinct structure or texture. All right. Okay. Well, that's pretty much it. So uh, obviously, you know, you can uh, spend more time on the weapon, but that wasn't the point of this video. So a couple of things. Uh, one, that with Quixel, you can transfer a photograph into a, a decent normal file and where you need to plug that in into Maya to make that work. Okay. So if you've got any questions, uh, let me know. And that said, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.